in the morning um as i came from prayer i was thinking about the word shift s h i f t t i mean shift i don't know how many of you guys have noted that the world has shifted and when we talk about a shift like if like i am in a car right now if i was driving straight but some some kind of a force let's say a wind shifts me it moves me from my course to complete either a complete new way shifting from my main course to something different or it could be a whole about turn you know what i mean guys have you noted that the world has shifted and literally you know when i came from prayer i was still in spirit and for me to have that thought i was like oh my god yeah things have shifted all i want to talk to to uh, and share with you guys and i would love to see your comments there here on facebook how many of you have felt a shift or if you have not felt it you can see it the world has totally shifted it came from the world that was known before and it's in a new direction i don't know how many of you can agree with me that things have changed a lot have you noted that a lot of i'll give you some signs just to prove what i am saying here the world has completely shifted number one i don't know if you have noted that a lot of the older generation have been removed from the, this world how many can agree with that older folks and when i talk about old i'm talking about maybe people above 70 H have you noticed just just want you to think a little bit with me here how many of the people above 70 years old do you know that have passed on a lot of them surprisingly guys have you noted that covid or sars cov2 when it came it was targeting the elderly people above 70 years old going forward this is not because you know it, it had something to do but the world the the, sh the shift the spiritual shift means there there has to be a passing of a generation so the older generation it's like they're being someone is making them hurry up to exit they have to exit the scene so that means there is a generational shift so that is a shift number one number two have you noted especially with the covid covid is like that thing that came to really usher in the century or a new phase of the world have you noticed noticed have you noticed that the world has shifted money has shifted especially covid has completely taken money from one side of the of the spectrum to the other have you, if let's be realistic have you seen like the hotels the airlines the leisure industry have you noticed that the uh tourist industry has been decimated have you noticed that some of the professions have taken in the glory have you noticed the healthcare now money has shifted from what we used to to think about you know that was you know we used to think like airlines have a lot of money hotels we all wanted all of us wanted to build a hotel because you knew you'll get guests but the ho the hospitality industry has been stricken have you noticed like most of the people who wanted to own businesses personal businesses they would open up restaurants some eateries have you noticed what has happened to the eateries boom money has been taken shifted so the shift i'm talking about first i spoke about the generation if you noticed a lot of older folks are dying and it's going to continue to happen in in the year 2020 and i want to believe going forward 2022 a lot of obituaries because of the older generation the older generation is being removed because of the shift that has happened in the world i just came from prayer and this was weighing strong in my spirit and i just came here to talk today to some few folks and then let's see how we can we can we can prepare ourselves 
when it comes to spiritually, when it comes to physically, it's good to notice. And guys, I want to say, say that the shift that has happened in the world, it's not going to come back. So I think most of most of us are are crying to have the the world we we had pre 2019, but from 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 digging in the spirit, you can know that the shift that has happened, we are never going to have that coming back. So it's a totally new 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 direction for the world. And as I was saying, the passing of the old, the, the old people. Number two, there is an economic shift. You, we have seen the, the, the industries that we used to think, you know, like people who had invested in, in certain things, it's no longer viable. But I want to talk to us, all of us who are here and we can talk to our friends and this clip is going to be available to many. Have you noted that farming, farming is not being affected? I don't know how many of, of us can, can agree with that, but farming is the only industry that no matter what shift we go to, the world will shift, farming will, 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 will remain intact. And I want to believe because this farming has been the profession. It's the first profession that God handed to Adam and Eve. He, he did not have an office or a computer. Or, you know, he did not have an investment job or whatever, or a doctor. All he needed to do is to be the husbandman of, of what God gave him to just to take care of the land. So that profession, farming profession, was given by God himself. Others have a, a reason because of the technology and and, 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 and education and s some industries and perif peripheral industry grew up, but farming is the original um, profession. So as you can see, I just wanted to highlight that, that guys, anything farming going forward, if you guys have a piece of land, do not sell it, do not build, because even real estate is going to be affected. And I just want to know, uh, note here that the, the boom we see in the real estate right now is because people are, are people have been told to stay home and there is that desire to be secure. You know, a home offers security. So the boom you see right now is some people, folks jumping in to buy some houses and stuff like that, but that's going to crush it. According, that's my own speculation. So for us, I think we should be thinking about farming because farming is going to be solid. And as I was saying, this shift that I was thinking about when I came from the presence of God, the word shift just bang came into, into my mind. And now I'm just going through practical, you know, sharing thoughts with you guys of what has happened. I see Vaughn, Vaughn Mombi is online. <laughs> yeah, welcome. So we are talking about how the world has shifted. And we said, we are going to see a lot of the older generation, a lot of our parents pass on to glory. This is just, this is just the wind that is happening right now. Do not be shocked when you see your uncles and aunts passing on. Anyone from, from 70. And I have a feeling that number may reduce even up to 65. There is a harvesting because of the, this shift of the older generation. There, there, there is going to be a lot of news of older politicians passing on and people that are elderly. This is just a shift. And we talked about finances. There is a lot of some people who are going bankrupt. And because of this shift, wealth is being shifted and transferred uh, from one industry to the other. We see healthcare right now um, becoming the, the, the predominant industry that wealth has been shifted to. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say this is because of nature. I think this is just because of the politics and the things that, is, that are happening in the world. Uh, this is like almost being forced to, people are being forced or coerced to, to, to move and to invest in, 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 in the pharmaceuticals and stuff like that. It's not a real thing that might change pretty quickly. Uh, but there is going to be a lot of, even the big companies, the technology is going to change as well. It's going to shift in a whole new generation. And I just wanted to note, 
here. One more thing that when I, I'm talking about this shift, the shift that I felt in the spirit, there is a shift in terms of freedoms. You see a lot of, a lot of countries have lost freedom. And because of this shift and because of perceived threat and, 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 and people, they call that misinformation and stuff like that. A lot of the freedoms we used to think are war freedoms in the yesterday's world is gone. We're edging closer to kind of like more controlled, uh, type of a world you know it's it's just how the world is is going to progress because of the the shift in the things of the spirit so those are the the, the couple of things i just wanted us to note that that are happening in the world we have to be very we have to read the signs of the time you know we we can be ignorant people who 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 have no perception or are just flowing and thinking, okay, this, okay, things are going to happen and they, they're going to go back to normal. No, things are never going to go back to normal. The older generation is just going to be taken away. Our children, for most of, most of us who are parents or will be parents, our children are going to come to a very, very different world. It's not the world we knew yesterday. Uh, technology we know has gone off the roof in the next 10 years. And now, you know, they're doing all these kind of crazy stuff. Um, they, they want to, to colonize the moon. They want to colonize Mars and all that talk about uh, space. Um, technology is not helping life to be easier we used to think oh with technology with a lot of technology we are going to be better but we see the technology is not helping in this shift so there is an edging up of the world to become to become almost united there is a, um, a shift of almost like going back to remember the tower the tower of Babel, where people were united and they were trying to do something and they were divided. We are edging to a type of a world, as we already know, that we're the whole world is doing one thing. Like we're all wearing this, right? I can just grab it. This is weird. The world has never been doing the same thing. We're wearing this all over the world. We are speaking the same language. This is a trend that has developed, not just because of COVID, wait, even pre-COVID, when this is done, the world will have a concerted effort to be a, a community, which it's not very good because this means losing a lot of individual rights. Uh, the world doing, oh, it's raining. I hope it's not getting noisy. The world doing the same thing, agreeing on the same things. Uh, and if you don't agree, you're, you're an outcast. You know what I mean? So guys, the world has shifted. It's not going to go back to the to normal and just i want to, to 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 make sure you guys agree with what i'm saying look at nature do you know what's happening to the weather right now it's summer in the in the western parts of the world right now uh in instead of the heat we see a lot of rain now we, we see a lot of flooding in germany flooding in the united states flooding in china flooding in asia in brazil if not flooding, there is a lot of fires happening on. So the weather has also, the weather, nature is shifting as well. We had a lot of heat waves passing across the West, Western world. I don't know how many of you uh, follow the news. And even in cold countries like, you know, like, like Canada, the heat waves that were being experienced were abnormal. So the weather is shifted. The climate is shifting. It's not because of the climate change. I'm not that kind of a guy. It's just because of the shift in the things in the in the realm of the spirit and things are speeding up. The world is going to be very, very fast. In in things will be changing just like the rules of COVID. You see them saying today wear a mask, tomorrow no mask. And they say you need this, then tomorrow you don't need it. I believe, I hope it's not so noisy, it's raining heavily raining heavily we are under a storm watch actually so guys as i'm saying this shift is you can see the weather 
is also is bearing testimony that things are changing the slow world of yesterday is gone we are up to i believe the shift is up to very quick and quick end things happening there will be quick changes happening all over uh be it i hope can you still hear me guys or is just the rain <laughs> uh so folks let's let's open our eyes and see that's lightning right there the truck Oof. oh my god that was loud Oof. see what i'm talking about the weather is bearing testimony that things are not the same anymore so w what are we supposed to do you and me seeing the there's a shift we can't remain people of yesterday trying to do yesterday the trade of yesterday um where are things why why do we have why do we have why is there a rush why is the world rushing where is the political crime uh, uh political cr climate rushing for something it's like a woman in travail you know what i mean guys when a woman is about to give birth you know the signs right you'll see some spotting you'll see that the travail starts so the the world the shift is because there is a travail that there, there, there has to be a giving birth to something guys we can't stay blind we have to to open up our eyes first when it comes to investing for me personally is i would advise people to farm 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 because farmers have been neglected for years farmers were earning the least amount in the chain in the supply chain the final product was going to the retailers the final product the, the most of the profits were going to 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 wholesalers to tell supermarkets but now things are going to change the farmer will have the final say and we will find that most of these manuf manufacturing you know uh, companies some of them are going to fail so there is a shift a huge shift and i'm hoping that you guys could can still hear me because it's just getting so noisy here because of the storm uh i think I'm, i might as well conclude because because of that time but i think i have shared what i wanted to share today that we are going through a shift and it's good to be prepared to know that things are not going to, to, to remain the same as they were yesterday. So guys, be vigilant, observe, look at the signs of the time and stay prepared. That's what I wanted to say. Stay prepared, know that the, there is a travail, there is a birth of something. The world cannot be rushing like this. Systems cannot be changing like this. The world can't change that quick pace for no reason. So stay vigilant, stay alert. And lastly, you know I'm a Christian, you, you know I'm an evangelist. Pray like never before. Pray like never before. As I said, when the world is shifting, I'm trying to be loud here, as the world is shifting, I pray as a body of Christ, we should ask for a revival. We need a revival because the world is shifting so rapidly and the people of God, like the church or uh, Christians are confused. You know, we, we, the last two years, you look at people, people are confused. Churches are confused. You know, churches became decimated pastors living and most of them went went under so definitely as the world is doing its thing giving birth to what it should they'll give birth to what it should give birth and that's why it's, it's rushing there is a speeding there is a speeding no it's all connected to the coming of the lord as well i'm not an alarmist i'm not asking people to to be alert but i'm saying be alert just open your eyes and see in the spirit what what i what i what i was thinking about when i came to shift what do we need to do as christians we need to ask god for a revival 
And by the way, this revival was promised in the Bible, in the book of Joel. If you read chapter 2, all we need to do is pray it through. We need to pray for a revival. And revival starts personally with me, with you, with you, with you. Then it's communal first. So we need to be revived in our, in our Christian living. We need to walk closely to the Holy Spirit. It's not time to, to become weak. It's not time to, 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 to become loose in morality. It's not time to just be doing nothing while the world is changing before our very eyes. We need to also keep pace. How do we keep pace? Revival. Why? Because we are ahead of the world. The world seems to be changing. But when you're revived and you have the Holy Ghost, you're ahead of the world. So stay, stay uh, revived. Let's pray for revival, folks. And God bless you and stay revived and pray for revival. The Most of the prayer right now, never stop including revive, revival in your prayer. That's the prayer of every Christian in the world. Because the world is shifting, but the church needs to do something. We need to be revived. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a blessed weekend ahead. And we will catch you next time on a live broadcast.